So in this third and final segment, I'd like to kind of walk through uh, with this mesh here the normal map extraction uh, workflow. And I've got a high-res mesh here with, I've got uh, three subdivision levels and around uh, 700,000 quad faces. And so, uh, you know, I've gone in and, and sculpted in my detail and uh, you can see here, this is just a, just a high-res mesh and we can look at, check the density here. So it's pretty, pretty dense mesh. Uh, all you need to do is go into the utility section, go to texture baking. And I've already created a texture bake node, but you would just hit n new operation go to, uh, and that will bring up the texture break options. This is, uh, the menu is set up in, in order of uh, how you're supposed to set these options here. So uh, you would first set your low resolution mesh. And in this scene, if I click on the menu, it should t give me all the, uh, a list of the objects in my scene. And I want to actually extract a map from uh, the lowest level zero and uh, I don't want any subdivision on the mesh on the low res. I just want to keep it as is. And um, I want to select a high resolution mesh. For this, I choose the highest level on that particular object. I change the subdivision to good. In this case, subdivision is not s subdividing the faces themselves, but rather the smoothing of the, uh, it's an additional smoothing level uh, on the map. Um, and then I want to turn on to create a normal map. Just turn that on. Just give this map a new name. And by default, we have the map width and height set to 1024. And we've also specified a search distance for you. Um, the search distance is uh, basically our solution. What the solution is doing is firing rays from the low res and going and finding where is the high res mesh and reporting back either a normal or a distance. And this kind of sets the limits of the ray length. And uh, we used to, uh, Mudbox used to, you know, the user would need to kind of guess this value. So we've put in some, an automatic feature which will determine a proper value for you. So usually the, d the default here is, is uh, gonna work fine for you. Um, and then all you would need to do is start the operation and that would begin the calculation. But I'll just give you a peek here. There are quite a few advanced options uh, because, as you know, there are no real standards on normal maps. So we had to provide quite a few options there for, for users to be able to create a map that's going to work inside of their own renderer. Um, but for our purposes, and we've tried to set up the defaults so that, you know, it, it will generate a normal map that will work for you. Um, just go ahead and hit start operation and it will bring up a map extraction results window. And you can see at the bottom there should be a bar, a progress bar, that uh, give you an idea how the map extraction is going. And I'll just let this go along in real time here. Okay, so that map's just about finished, and it's finished the map, and it's taken 23 seconds, and that's on a mesh that's, you know, uh, 700,000 quads, so double that for tri the number of triangles that that, that mesh is. And um, then we can go on to our image browser and have a look at that map. And you can see here the results of the 1K map. And the map, map is pretty clean. And this map you can use straight away in your renderer. Uh, you can import this in Maya and test it. Um, but uh, yeah, it should be that simple to extract maps. From arbitrary, with Mudbox, you can also extract maps from arbitrary meshes as well. So for example, if this was my high res mesh and I had an arbitrary uh, you know, triangulated, triangulated mesh that was for my game engine or an arbitrary mesh that had end-sided faces in it, 
you could bring that object in as a separate object and in the texture baking window uh, you would just specify that 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 object here and uh, so for low res you'd have one object and for high res you'd have a completely different object here and the extraction would still work so the mesh the meshes don't have to be related in any way uh, in fact you can uh, extract from a low res to an object that is comprised of multiple ob high res objects as well so um, quite quite uh, uh, a few you have some flexibility there with the with the map extraction options